Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to create a six pack of panda cards today using the Flora and Fauna panda set. And I had to have this set when I saw a couple of the pandas. They seem like kind of random images, but there's a little car that the panda can drive. There's little things that he can interact with. There's, you know, a full panda, there's a panda head, there's panda eyes. And what I did was just make some black and white cards that I wanted to show you a little of the alterations. This little guy, I did some masking to try to make him intertwine with the the bamboo, but it didn't work really well. I didn't mask as well as I could have because I was just using sticky notes to cover up areas. So I just went in with my white pen and added some parts back in and I went in with my black pen as well to finish off his hands and make his little paws look like they were kind of curved over top of that little branch. This one, I stamped I stamped the balloon. I could have put it over a little bit further because my line is going to have to be a little bit off completely vertical, but in a science fashion that would have happened because he's got so much weight on him that it would have actually needed to tilt a little bit anyway. So for that I just had to add a little bit of a string to make his little balloon look like it's carrying him, and I stamped some of the branches from the stamp set down at the bottom so he looks like he's flying over the trees. He, he has more height because there's tree limbs down there. Now this one was kind of funny because there's a couple different pandas. This one that has the eyes looking up was really fun to play with. And I'm making him look like he's behind a brick wall and he's looking up at a balloon. And he's holding his little panda ice cream, which is also in the set. So I drew his little paw to hold his ice cream and had to do that first. I'm just using, by the way, some black, regular black ink and I'm using a Copic multi-liner, but since these aren't even gonna be colored, you don't even have to have a multi-liner because I'm just gonna leave them plain black and white because black and white panda cards are adorable. So this other paw is hanging over the top there so that it looks like one hand is in front, that sort of thing. And then I wanted to make this little panda turn into a balloon. The panda face is one that you can add to a lot of different things. When I added it to the balloon, you can see the ears didn't kind of come all the way in, but it was easy to just draw the ears in there. And then I'm making my wall down here look like a brick wall by just adding some vertical lines. You can get a ruler out if you really want to, but I think it just looks fine just having hand-drawn lines there. And as I was looking at it, I needed the ears on the balloon to be a little bit bigger. They just didn't feel quite panda-ish enough. So I just drew over them to make them a little bit bigger. And now we have a panda balloon. So this little panda face you could use on so many different things. You could make like panda flowers, all your other stamps that you have in your collection. You can add that panda and make everything into a panda. So this little guy, I put two of the flowers in his hands and just kind of laid them sideways so he could be carrying them. And then I drew him a curve with my pen. Probably could have done that a little straighter, but you know, it's okay. Adding a little bit of grasses just around him. And you can make them thicker and taller, or you can make them tinier, or whatever you want to do. Uh, his flowers are really giant, or he's really tiny, I'm not sure which. And then the grass in relation to him, the proportions are wacky. But I think that's what makes it look kind of cute, don't you think? So there's that little cute guy. And he didn't require any redoing of his hands or anything to make it happen. Now here I went a little crazy. I put my panda in the flowers and wanted him to be just climbing up all of these flowers. But then I had a bunch of them that were laying over top of each other. Some of them didn't have stems that joined all the way to the bottom. So they were kind of floating. So I just had to add my lines back in to make everything have a stem coming down from it. And if you're doing this kind of thing, you can also add more leaves if you want more leaves in there. And then if there's some where you didn't feel like doing your masking, just white it out with a pen really easily. Super quick way to do this, especially if you're going to just leave it black and white anyway. Nobody's going to look in there and see whether or not you went over some of that with your white pen in order to make it work right. So here we have him in a whole garden, cute little climbing panda bear. Adorable little guy. Got my little flowers finished. Now this one is, I think, the most fun. So I put the panda looking up into the car and I'm gonna give him a steering wheel. So I'm just gonna draw a little arc in there and put his little black paws on the steering wheel. So we're gonna start off there. So now he's he's able to drive because he has, he has his two little paws on there. 
and I'm going to give him a hillside because, you know, he has to have a scene here. And wherever your hillside comes down, you can make your tree, just extend your tree down to match up with it. It doesn't matter where it is. And then I'm going to give him a road. And those who've taken my drawing class on art-classes.com know that this would be a one-point perspective because both of those lines are going back to one single perspective. If you're going to color the road in with something else, you can just do that black dotted line. But I decided I was going to take a big old fat Sharpie and make the road black. And this is just a regular old fat Sharpie. So yes, I'm making a card with just a regular old fat Sharpie. <laughs> you don't have to have fancy supplies for everything. I'm just going to fill it all in and color it. And then I can add a white line to that one. But get it all finished and colored in first. And now he's got a nice base to him that he's ready to, ready to drive. But what do I do with the car? Well, I made him a little windshield for his car. Check that out. I took a piece of scrap acetate and I just cut it to the right size so he's in a convertible now. And I put some, glued it to the back of a um, another car and put some dimensional heat adhesive on the back of it. So now he's in his little car and he's got a windshield. Isn't that cute? So you could color this up and do all kinds of crazy things with it, or you could just leave it black and, black and white like me and add a little dotted line so he's got a place to drive on the road. Actually, he's driving down the middle of the road. Maybe that's not such a good idea. So anyway, here's all the finished cards. What I did was cut them all down to four inches, and then I had some scrap black cardstock, so I put a little strip of that in behind each panel and then glued the whole panel down onto red card bases. And they made for really cute, simple, clean and simple, but elegant cards. And the color scheme is very reflective of the Asian culture and stuff. So I thought they came out really fun. So there's my six pack of silly, cute panda cards. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get links to the stamps and all kinds of other things in the description down below. You can watch more videos here on the screen. You can go take my drawing class, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.